Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got something really cool today. I'm going to start this build. This is a... I don't know if this is... I believe this is in German. But a uh, foreign or a European model kit that was sent to me by my friend Ralph. Ralph lives over in Germany. And look at that stash. But... Ralph lives over in Germany and he he sent me a bunch of pictures and this has been a while back and if you've watched my videos you've seen this when I opened it up but it was really it's so cool to have something from over there especially from a gentleman that sends me actual actual pictures of himself in his model room and his stash oh wow I just noticed something check it out okay let me get a pointer get the back of this paintbrush right here Ralph's got a measure smith. I just got that kit. And I've got that kit. I, I love looking at people's stash. Let's see if we can see anything else. There we see Ralph. For sure, there's Ralph. There's one of them concept cars. It's like a 29. What can we see up here? It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. That's a nice kit. Snake and mongoose. Wow. Anyway, okay, so this is Ralph. Ralph sent me this this model kit. And I guess I'll show a few more pictures. And I've shown these pictures before, but it's just too cool. There's Ralph sitting at the table un uh, opening up. Looks like a Mobius. Let's see if we can tell what that kit is. It's upside down, so let's let's see if we can see what the kit. It's like a Mobius gasser possibly. See it right there? Right there, the back of it. Oh, well, it actually says, no, just said he was having a good Danish beer and opening up a model kit. And here's his son, Thade, I think, yeah, Thade. Thade has got the, the monster stash going on, which is so cool. Thade sitting there enjoying a, a Pilsner with his dad. And uh, here's some more stash videos. Yes, I'm getting to the model kit, guys. But these these are awesome. These pictures are cool. I actually was looking to see if I could see this kit, like um, the one that I that I that I've got here on the shelf. So he's got some show rods. Oh, hey, check this out. You guys might get a chuckle out of this. That guy right there. Who who is who? I don't even know who who is this Ed. Ed Roth. I don't know who Ed Roth is. Some of you guys may be able to tell me. Now, see, that's satire. I just, that was a joke because when I got, I bought this, come on, camera, I bought this kit, the Outlaw, Ed Big Daddy Roth Outlaw kit. I, I didn't know who, uh, didn't know, oh, look at the school bus. Looks awesome. But anyway, I didn't know who uh, Ed Roth was at the time. No, I didn't. And I got schooled. I got took to school. Oh, shoot. Cool. This is another cool one right here. <laughs> I want to get this kit, and I, I think I might just be getting it pretty soon. I have a friend named Tony Lancer. Connoisseur Classic Monogram, or AMT. It used to be, it was the MPC or the AMT Connoisseur Classic. That's the 32 Chevy right there. I want that one. All right. What else do you see? I don't know. All kind of cool kits in there. All kind of stuff. Okay. Anyway, and then here's another shot of his hobby room. Absolutely beautiful. Got the display cases going on here on the sides. Display cases. That's a reflection, so that's not another window. Display cases. The man's got a drill press up in his uh, model room and a uh, bandsaw. And then all. It looks like he might do a little bit of woodworking. And then the model building heaven right there. Looking out into the German woods, it looks like. Wow. Awesome. I, I'll just go through all these pictures if you're not, if I'm not careful. He's got a stash. Look at the beautiful Hot Wheels and everything he's got. So neat. Wow. He would go crazy if he walked in here. Uh, Cliff over GI Scale me uh, GI Mechanic. GI Scale Mechanic? GI Mechanic. Oh, anyway, Cliff. Is having the motorcycle build off and there's two builds right there motorcycle builds here's a whole mess load of 
Ralph's builds. Here's a, all right, I'm getting done. There's some concept cars and the bass boat being pulled by the El Camino. The, um, I don't know which one this is, but I think it's not the uh, NBC. It must be the monogram kit. This is it say. Dodge Charger AMT. Oh, wow. I'm surprised. It looks good. And uh, more kits. More build-ups. All kind of stuff. I like the foreign jobs down there at the bottom. Like the uh, this little thing here. What is that? It's a... Uh, darn, I can't remember what it's called. It's like a French car. Anyway. Jay Leno's got some of them. I'm getting to the model kit. I really am. But these, these are cool pictures. I like to look at them. Custom rat rod. He was watching my video unpacking my uh, turbine car. And he was looking at his at the same time. A cool display of awesome model kits. This giant scale. 1.8 looks good. But uh, duh, 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 wasn't a fun build he said. 1.8 scale. Jeez that's huge. XKE. And then all of his magazines and books and more displays. And all right, so now we're getting to the model. I just wanted to make sure that I gave tribute to, to Ralph here. Ralph, buddy, thank you so much for being a supporter of my channel and sending me this. Okay, so what's crazy about this, do you see the size of this box? 132nd, maybe 148th, 143rd scale kit would come in it. No, sir. 125th in that box yep so if i had google i don't have good signal out here but google translate would uh tell us a little bit about what this says and i did already look on google translate and uh but and i might have to when i go to build it but it's a dick d-i-x-i that says dixie here in america but <laughs> i don't think it's dixie but anyway 1907 I'll have to find out what this kind, what this brand of car is. Obviously, the first part of this video is just going to be me showing you this car, and uh, so the, the instructions are like in German. So I'll have to have Google Translate, but they're very simple instructions. There's a very low parts count model kit, but it's just it's just super cool. There's your tires. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They must have a whole mess load of tires for spares. There's the tires. Here's a bag of loose parts. No trees, bag of loose parts. Here's the interior right there. It's blue, won't be blue when I, I will paint it. Here's the roof, nice texture on there. Chassis, fenders right there um the looks like the rear wind where the rear window goes and some other chassis parts um what's cool is i can't get this up i'll have to google translate this stuff so we can see what it says um i think this is something about glue gluing the model or something like that and then this is the really Thing. This is what's super cool. This is like the um, quality, quality control. Uh, actually, if you'll say K, see that word at the top, K-O-N-T-R-O-L, control. So it's quality control. Um, and it was from 8 or 9-8. Sometimes in Europe, this is the month, this is the day. Either one, it's, it's either in the 8th month or the ninth month of 1972 i was not around then but yeah in the in the, you're going to build that kit matthew i am i am i am going to build it because i know if i send it to charlie mac he would build it so why 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 charlie mac get all the fun i'm going to build it oh boy there's a lot of little parts okay more parts than i thought more parts than i thought there's the hood. But yeah, 125th scale in this teeny little box. That's amazing. Got the... Here's the rear differential. It's cool that it doesn't have a tree. That it's... Uh, it's it's all, you know, packaged. Yeah, so here's your little brass parts. 
lights. I don't, unless I have missed it, I don't think it has any, um, any lenses. It doesn't have a windshield anyway because the car just doesn't have a windshield. But I don't think it has glass or clear parts. I might can figure something out about that. Yeah, so D-I-X-I. So it is, it's a, I know it needs an E on the end for it to be like Dixie, but I mean, D-I-X-I. -I. Huh, I'll have to look that up. Here's the steering, stern wheel right there. It's got the timing. Come on now, got the timing deals on it. Anyway, I'm gonna build this little guy. I'll obviously clean up these parts and paint them myself because they're, they got quite a bit of flash on them. But yeah, it's going to be neat. So again, thank you to uh, Ralph all the way over in Deutschland. I guess that's what that means, Germany. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you, Ralph. Thank you for sending this and everything else that you've sent to me. Um, tons of pictures. I've got more pictures than even this. But yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to get started on it, and uh, this is going to conclude this video, though. Um, I'll come back. Next video will be getting some parts cleaned up, paint on them, and things like that. But I just wanted to share the kit with you, the man who sent it, and where it was from, and that awesome stash that he's got, and his son's stash, but his is on his face. <laughs> Thade, Ralph, German model car. All right, guys. Take care. Don't forget to go check out Hobby Nut Models. This is going to get painted, and it's going to get painted with paint that comes from Hobby Nut Models. You go check out Mark's inventory over there. Link in the description below. Click on the link. Helps me out. Helps him out. Go check out the inventory over there at HobbyNutModels.com. As well as the Facebook group, the Spring Store. Grab yourself a coffee mug or a sticker. And uh, the Patreon group. I'll put your name on the scroll at the beginning of the video if you're a member. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, Ralph, I hope you're watching. Let me know. See you guys later. Take care.